Welcome to Snowpocalypse Texas Edition 2021. As you can see, the power is out. Uh, we just had some water pipes break. We're having all kinds of water problems and among many other things. So let's take it back to the beginning and show you where it all started. This is a good day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many when the old one's gone under the knife. And I can feel the sun on my skin. Well, we don't have any power, which means we don't have any way to cook in here, unfortunately. But uh, the good news is, is that the guest house has a gas cooktop, so we're going to go cook lunch over there. And speaking of no power, no power means no water for us as well. So here is our drinking water for the next few days. Very nice. High class, you know. Let's go. Let's go see what meals we have. I love you, Miller. Hi. Miller's a little bit grumpy to wait for um, real lunch, so he is having a peanut butter jelly, and then you're going to take a nap. No, I hate napping. I know, that's why you need one. You this is our, our lovely bedroom. sleeping situation right now next to our propane fireplace. We've all been sleeping and cuddled in here. It's not been so bad. Kids like it. It's kind of fun. Walk it on the beds. Oh. <laughs> we just got inside. We're getting warmed up and it's time to eat our Hello Fresh. We have power right now. The power grid has been going like 30 minutes on, seven hours off. So we're going to do this really fast and that's one another great thing about HelloFresh is that all the meals that we've made so far are under like a 40 minute cook time. Everything is pre-packaged for you so you, everything is like already measured and divided so it saves you a ton of work. This is the chicken over garlic parmesan spaghetti. We need that. One of the main things that I love about HelloFresh as a mom is that they have pre-measured ingredients so you have to do no measuring and they have the best seasonal fruit and produce in all of their packages. So all I have to do is grab a bag, dump it out, and I'm ready to start cooking. Use my code Family Fulfillment Project 10 to get 10 free meals across your four boxes. If you wanna know more details, they're in my description. We gotta to get to this and let's get a cooking. When we wake, ah, the the so let's get our roasted tomatoes out of the oven. Overcook the chicken, it's a Christmas miracle. It's a snow day miracle. We need to eat this, get it served up, eat this, and head out to the snow. Look how cool my cute Miller looks. Okay. Hey, bud. Miller, stay out of the deep rock crevices. Why? Because there might be snakes in them. I think that's possible. I don't, I don't think a snake would be anywhere near the surface right now. Those snakes in Texas, Dad, don't lie. <laughs> so we had some warning that this winter storm was coming, but the problem is living in the north compared to living here, the house just was not prepared for it. Well, nothing built around here is prepared for this kind of weather. Uh, the roads, the houses, the pipes, nothing is. So They don't have salt things for the roads, snow plows, the things that we had in the north. Yeah. So everything really really shuts down in a storm like this and it i've i've been seeing all kinds of different people online that their pipes are all freezing and yeah. everything's breaking so water dripping from their ceiling and they have no heat 
Yeah, so, so luckily we have some experience with this coming from the north, so we were able to prepare pretty well. So as we're walking back to the house, we all got a really strong smell of sewage. So we're hoping nothing is up with our septic system because stinky probs, stinky problems. It's possible though. It is. System's not built for this kind of weather. That'd be fun. That'd be real fun. That'd be a crappy situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh glad I bought this brand new patio furniture a week ago when it was 80 degrees out. So glad I got it so early in the season. What a deal! What a deal! We're getting some really good use out of it. Yeah. All right, it's frozen <laughs> to the patio. <gasps> Don't force it. Just leave it. It's frozen. To the patio. Tonight we're supposed to get another three to four inches of just ice. The patio is all iced over right here. This is my ice dance for you. With this huge ice storm and all these trees aren't meant to handle this, so um, it rained like crazy and then it froze really quickly. And we had all kinds of tree branches that snapped and trees that snapped. It's been, there's been a lot of damage. There's been a lot of power outages. Uh, we went one full night without power for about 11 hours overnight a few nights ago. So it's just been, it's been a wild journey over these last few days. So I had a space heater running in here when the power was on and that was uh, doing a pretty good job at keeping everything in here above freezing, but now it's about seven or eight degrees outside. Uh, there's no power, so I have no way to heat this thing. The best quick option that I have is I have some painter's plastic, and I'm just gonna lay this down over top of the pipes and the pump, uh, just to try to help keep any kind of heat that's coming out of the ground, you know, keep it trapped in there and try to keep it from getting any colder than it has to get. While it's really, really cold out, it's very important to always have running water going through your pool system. So I have it set to run 24 seven, but now unfortunately the power is out. So you can see it's starting to ice over, which is no good. So I'm gonna try to break this stuff up and keep it from completely icing over to protect just the surrounding of the pool itself. And hopefully we can save the pool system pumps and everything from freezing too bad as well. This is probably from the last four hours or so of the power being out, but this is already about very, an inch thick of that's ice. Very thick. All right, I got everything covered up in the well house and the pool house. Uh, the pool house is at least insulated, so that should hopefully keep everything from freezing over too much. We have our propane tank is buried in the ground, but I need to check the levels because we haven't filled it up since we moved in. We haven't really used that much, but. I just want to be sure that we don't run out of propane because that's our only source of heat right now. So hopefully the power will come back on soon. We'll be able to heat everything up again, get the pool running again before the damage gets much worse. Well, it looks like it's still about 68, 65% full. And I don't think they fill it much past about 85% or so. So I think we'll be okay. It doesn't look like we've used very much, but all right. Man, this is just crazy. I mean, it's kind of fun to have the snow. You know, I didn't, definitely didn't think that we would see any snow this year, and now we've had it twice, and this time it's it's gotta be six to eight inches of overall accumulation, so it's just crazy. Well, we have water pipe casualties from this winter storm. It stinks. This, this thing completely broke out. Is this what we were see. smelling earlier? Probably. Sulfur, I don't know. And then this thing, we're still trying to figure out how to shut this off because we have all the shutoffs and the pumps all turned off and we're, we don't even know why that's still pressurized. Why so. don't you call John, the old owner? Yeah, Bill's trying to turn that thing off real quick and then we'll see. But, good times. Well, this is kind of the last place that I expected something to fail, but I think it's actually because we had some other issues with valves not working and not shutting correctly and then freezing. Um, 
up on the other side of the house that we ended up getting too much back pressure here and uh, causing a couple different blowouts in the corners of these pipes. So now we have completely shut off the water to the house and to the guest house and uh, we're gonna have to get these things fixed before we can turn the water back on and it's still gonna be freezing out for at least another day. So we'll have to get back to you next week and let you know uh, where all the problems are because I'm sure that it's not only here. I think this is probably a collateral damage uh, because of some other issues. So tune back in next week and we'll let you know what all the problems are that we've got and hopefully how we fix them. And remember, you're never gonna look back on your life and wish you had less adventure fixing broken pipes in a winter storm in Texas. See you next week. The world could fall 